on the floor. Uh, that, that they knew that I was not in some ivory tower. And Whatever pain they experienced, I was, I had it more. And some people who knew you well actually thought you were making a terrible mistake, that you were driving yourself, you were, you were driving yourself to the edge of sanity almost, and, yes. and, not, and, sure. and, that, and that you were in danger of making bad choices. And in fact, I heard you say last week, Elon, that, that you, because of Tesla's huge value now and, and you know, the, the, the significance of every minute that you spend, that you are in danger of sort of obsessing over it, spending all this time to the point of, to the edge of sanity. Um, that doesn't, that doesn't sound super wise, isn't there? Like, your, your, your time, your, your completely sane, centered, rested time and decision making is more powerful and compelling than, than that sort of, I, I can barely hold my eyes open. So, so surely it should be an absolute strategic priority to look after yourself. I mean, there wasn't any other way to make it work. Bill three. Hold my eyes open. So, so surely it should be an absolute strategic priority to look after yourself. I mean, there wasn't any other way to make it work. Bill three years of hell. Um, 17, 8, 2017, 18, and 19 were three years. longest period of excruciating pain in my life. Uh, there wasn't any other way, and we barely made it. We were on the ragged edge of bankruptcy the entire time. So, so when you like I want fighting, I don't like it. Um, those were three, three, so, so, so much pain. Uh, but it, it had to be done, or Tesla would be dead. When you looked, a lot of uh, interviewers they they miss the point when they interview a. Uh, successful entrepreneurs like uh, Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, they always try to to be very cautious. To, oh, why, why don't you do it this way? You know, why not do this this way, that way? Wasn't that a mistake? Why are you going to, they, they ask really irrelevant questions, okay? I mean, the reason Elon Musk is successful is he was able to, to, uh, to be extremely optimistic about the future, okay? So basically he was crazy about to the point where the people around him are, are shocked. So you have to be in this kind of a state of mind in order to really have a, a positive impact. The people that are around you, they have no idea. They cannot comprehend it, okay? Because you are not at the same level of uh, understanding the complexity of technologies, okay? Predicting the future. And uh, these interviews are just, uh, I don't know. These interviews, the, the interviews are so, so, uh, sometimes they're so uh, out of touch of reality, you know? They are in their own comfort and ask really irrelevant questions, okay? You know, if, some, if somebody like Elon Musk, who's really, putting all his energy in terms of making the future better and uh, an interviewer come here, oh, why Why didn't you do this way? Why didn't you do this that way? Uh, that wasn't that a mistake. Of course you gotta make mistakes, you know? So we, it's a different mindset. An entrepreneur is somebody who has a different mindset, somebody who welcomes uh, uh, mistakes, somebody who's very optimistic about the future and are always working towards it. That's, you know, so that kind of mindset, you have to have that kind of mindset in order to really have a positive impact. And you have to completely ignore the noise. 
Because the people that are around you, they, they cannot comprehend your level of uh, determination, your level of optimism about what, can, what, what, what you can accomplish in the future. So just ignore them and uh, look forward.